So let's dive into the topic. Now it's really easy to conceal or hide your belly fat or belly bloat or whatever you call it. You just have to make sure that you're not wearing something very fitted on the dress and on the skirt or otherwise you're gonna show a whole lot of bump and lumps. So on this video, we're gonna focus more on what to wear or what to pair with if you wanna wear pants, shorts, or jeans. Okay, my first tip is to actually go for very high-waisted or super high-waisted. Um, you would want to pick something that will cover your belly button, even way above your belly button. The higher it is, the better. My second tip is to size up. So you, if you are a size 4, go for size 6. If you're size 6, you go for size 8. Now my next tip is to actually choose thicker fabric. Just like the concept of layering, um, the thicker fabric actually gives you the illusion of concealing or hiding the belly bloat or belly fat. My next tip is to actually choose bottom that actually has the pleated design in the front and that also gives you the illusion of hiding the belly bloat or belly fat. My next tip, I think we're actually on number five, number four, I forgot. I think that's number five. So my number five tip is to actually wear bottoms that are darker, like um, darker jeans, black trousers, navy shorts, anything darker actually do help in concealing those bumps and lumps. Now I just shared you the bottoms that you could actually buy or wear when your goal is to hide the belly fat or belly bloat, but sometimes we just want to wear our old jeans. And if that's so, my next two tips actually what you need to wear if you don't have high-waisted pants, trousers, or shorts. Before I go on to what top you need to wear to hide the belly fat, let me just tell you that some of the um, brand that I go to to help me hide the belly fat is Cezanne. Cezanne make really great trousers, jeans, and pants that are actually great in concealing the belly fat as well as a gold day. All right, let's dive into what top you need to wear to hide that belly fat besides an oversized t-shirt. But before we get into that, let me just tell you that the trick is to find clothing that highlights the right areas while diverting people's eye away from your meat section. So my first tip for choosing the top is to actually um, choose Empire Line style tops just like over here. You can also choose to wear brushing tops, color blocking tops or blouses, asymmetrical tops, peplums, poplin shirts, as well as puff sleeves. So the tops that I've mentioned to you actually divert the attention to the um, style or design of the top for instance, the um, puff sleeves. So instead of like looking at the midsection, you're actually looking at the sleeve area because it has that really nice design. Same thing with the um, ruching tops. So instead of looking at the midsection, you're looking at that design. So I wanna show you these two videos to give you a visual comparison of wearing a tight shirt as well as wearing one of the recommended top that I have mentioned. Before I talk to you about the top, I just want to mention that I'm wearing a mid-rise skinny jeans, which I absolutely hate because I keep pulling it up and it just keeps falling down. There's a whole lot of things going on on the second top. You have the belt that provides a cinch waist as well as an hourglass figure. And you also have the ruffles at the bottom as well as asymmetrical hem, which makes it perfect in concealing a belly fat. Now, if you're someone who don't like to wear ruching tops or plum tops or the puff sleeves tops just because you're not into those kind of design you can definitely just wear a blouse with a great 
um, print in the front that is actually long enough to cover your belly fat. This is a sample of the blast blouse that I was telling you and this I bought it at Ted Baker so it has that beautiful print in the front and um, it kind of looks like an elevated t-shirt but it's, it's long enough to cover your belly fat. There's nothing wrong wearing an oversized shirt or a t-shirt to hide your belly fat but if you want to achieve an elevated look I suggest you wear a pattern or print tops to camouflage your belly fat. Small prints are very effective in hiding bellies because it confuses the eyes so that the shape of your tummy isn't too defined. Okay, so let's just say none of these are working out for you. Well then my friend, layering is your best friend. This shirt is actually very tight on me but because of the embellishment in the front you could hardly see it but you could see lumps and bumps on the side of this shirt as well as in the back and as well as the lower part of this shirt where there's no embellishment. So to conceal that, I'm gonna wear um, a blazer. You can also wear a um, cardigan, a jacket, or any layers you may choose. You just wanna make sure that the layer you choose is long enough to conceal the lumps and bumps. For those who like to tuck their shirt in, I wouldn't recommend the full tuck or the half tuck. Because as you can see, you have the lumps and bumps in the front as well as on the side. Rather, I recommend having the half front of the shirt tuck and the other half untuck. But if you really want to tuck your shirt in, you can definitely wear a blazer or any layering like a vest or a kimono to hide those lumps and bumps in the front. And if you insist on wearing your t-shirt, just put on a blazer and do a half tuck that creates that asymmetrical line in the front and you'll definitely have an elevated look. And because you already have the blazer on to help you hide your belly fat, you can definitely do a half tuck or a full tuck on this shirt. Some of these tips might help you depending on your style and depending on your body shape but it definitely helped me on creating a much more elevated look and much more stylish style. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you like such video you can give this video a thumbs up and you can leave a comment below of whatever styling tips or hacks or tricks that you would want to know from me so I can do research on that. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you may do so now.